what's good ladies and gentlemen this is your boy ivan now before we get into prediction i just want to say that it's just like in our last prediction we're going to do it in parts i'm going to do part one and it's just going to be going to have part two on his channel so as soon as you're done with this one please move on to ninja's channel for the second part which i will leave in the description down below also as a little side note um i'm personally not too knowledgeable about persona other than the information that i researched and read so if there's any little thing that i may have missed or left out or other please leave in the comment section down below because you know i love learning about this stuff so you know if i get something wrong don't get upset about it you know this is mostly just conjecture and that's you know what basically what a prediction is you know we're just guessing what we think so let me be quiet and uh let's get this prediction started so enjoy guys what's popping everybody how's everyone doing this this is your boy ivan and i'm here with my boy niche dfx and today we're going to be having a little bit of prediction of the next death battle which is why shini from the ruby series versus misudu kyoko kyoto from a uh, persona from the persona series now uh yeah, this is going to be a pretty, this is going to be a fun battle, but uh, Nij, um, what are your thoughts about this battle first and foremost? Well, I'm very happy to see another Ruby jump into the octagon, so to speak, and <laughs> Persona is nice to get more love because it's an uh, <clears throat> kind of a cult classic or just a cult theme game in general, and yeah. I love my RPGs, and I hope that it encourages some cats out there to go and experience the series. I agree, absolutely. I never really played the Persona series other than I just watched bits and pieces of it online. But when I really, like, let me just give a brief thing. Like, when I first heard of Persona, the first thing that came to my mind was, okay, this looks like another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because they just summon creatures out of their bodies. But obviously they have their you know, unique differences and whatnot. And when I got when I got to look more deeper, I thought it was a really cool series. So yeah, I completely agree. This series needs to, needs to have a more broader audience. But it, and it's a great. It looks like a really great series. Something I would definitely try when I get a chance. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, from my understanding is is and I've been schooled because I did not take the Persona challenge, so to speak, to go through all of them. Uh, the first one is pretty much the least favorite out of all of them and people say no you, you just you at least got to get to like three and beyond and it just it's just beautiful like it'll just take you by storm so me and ivan will eventually get to that it's on our list definitely you know? definitely <laughs> i'm sorry so, guys it's just... but of course with everything with death battle we have to know that this is going to be the blood the bloodlust rules of course and a fight to the death. Now, <clears throat> before we begin, me and Ivan both feel this way. Uh, we're a little bit nervous because of Weiss is not in her final form, so to speak. You know, the show is not over yet, and we feel like Death Battle, it, at least this is my opinion, and I think Ivan might still feel this way, so that I'm going to say that right now as a disclaimer, that mm -hmm. they're setting her up either for failure or not you know like because it's it's not yeah yeah done yet like yeah that was my first thing going to the death battle i'm like i'm sick to see why because she's my favorite ruby character and no, you know yeah. i like and i just i relate to her a lot more in terms of loneliness and stuff so i was super excited to see but the other part was like but the series is not over yet yes she's done some great stuff up to this point but i think she's gonna get so much better so I'm just, I'm still kind of iffy about whether if she's actually ready because I know Persona and Masuda, she's had a lot more time to develop and, you know, be a more, you know, you know, a more full character, so to speak. So going to this, I was just like, okay, so yeah, Weiss has done a lot, but is it enough? You know what I mean? So it's gonna, you know what I mean? It's just like, mm -hmm. it's hard to, you know, it's just, I'm sorry if I keep stuttering, but it's just. No, I, I totally understand. And, and that begs the question is, is are they just, like I said, they threw her into this battle. So, of course, two opinions are going to come out of this. And I'm going to play devil's advocate, so bear with me, guys. Like, some people are going to say either she's going to get squirreled or they are just that confident that she's going to win. That's right. I mean, it makes sense either way. It's like it is what it is. Absolutely. So, yeah. with that being said, uh, should we go over kind of the feats of things and why we think this, this versus that? Or what do you think right now, Ivan? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think we should just get into the feats and see what these girls are capable of, these two ice queens, so to speak. All right. Well, you can pick the first feat, and you Ugh. can go, and then I will uh, respond. Okay, so, well, I guess we'll just start off with the babe with, you know, the most common oh, feat we start. I I'll yeah. interrupt you one more time. Just for the record, everybody, I am representing Weiss for this research, 
and he is rep representing Persona. Sorry, I know I say Persona because I can't pronounce her word name. It's okay, I'm not, it's okay. I'm not good with Asian names. Yeah, not I love good. Asian stuff, but I just can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just start with the basic feat, which is strength. Now, mm -hmm. what I know in the Persona universe, you know, obviously they're able to summon their shadows or their inner selves called stands. And naturally, oh, not stands, personas. And obviously these personas are going to have different abilities. But as well as the humans are also going to have abilities. Like Masudu, for example, one of her one of her greatest strengths is that she was able to bind the tentacles of her lover shadow with her whip, which said shadow was able to break through a brick wall. As well as she was able to cut through a cut through the lover shadow, and it says she would be able to break through the shadow as if like a stone statue, and and this is and keep in mind this is just like her herself Masudu and not her persona, so this is what she can do like on her own. Oh, and there's something I should also mention is that there is something called the dark hour, and persona users are physically stronger during this time. So okay. more than likely, a lot of these feats that she's capable of doing is during the dark hour. So, so there's, just, only, there's only one hour out of the day. Is that it's just for the record to clear it up? Or can you explain the dark hour more by any chance? Or uh, yeah, I, I can I can look it up for a little bit. But um, I guess okay. it's just it's just simply like I guess it, to be quite honest, I don't I don't, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what the dark hour is. But all I know is that it just really um, enhances the the abilities of the persona user, kind of like um, I guess or I guess an example would be like the Hollow Knight in the Undernight Inverse series. Where during that time, you know, people can use certain powers during that time, but I think this is a lot different. So, mm -hmm. uh, while I while I look this up, uh, you want to talk a little bit about um, Weiss's strengths? Yeah. So, from my understanding, is is she is capable of taking on uh, stuff that is pretty much equivalent to the paladins as the mech. Uh, her first summon. If you guys remember even from her trailer, Arma uh, Gygus or Gygus, I don't know how to pronounce it. Someone can obviously auto-correct me. Yeah. She was able to solo one of those on her own. And to be able to damage one of those is to be said to be able to damage one of the Paladins. If you guys aren't familiar with the Atlesian Paladins, that's basically the mech that threw Yang through a pillar, through some combat. It was mentioned in the manga of the... Um, the power scaling sort of speak of output between or durability as well. So that's where her Gygus or Gygus, whatever you want to call it is, is leveled at. And she was able to solo that on her own. Of course it has different, you know, speed and whatever versus, you know, the mech suit, but we know that she's capable enough of destroying a paladin. Like we'd have, to, we have to acknowledge that because, and I'm going to say manga and anime are, canon obviously we know that and and one can argue the continuity aspect of it but we can't deny you know how the good thing the beauty part about manga is, is it wraps up some of those loose ends or just you know the little stuff in the subtleness it gets answered in there and that's the beauty of that's why a lot of times when you read it you get that extra almost like behind the scenes of what yeah. you're seeing you know um, um feats and stuff so i'm gonna have to hand it to her that her strength is is, is legit enough to destroy one of those damn suits so that, that, that that's happen. pretty damn impressive. This is like top notch of their universe military grade big suits putting in work. That's um that is that does sound impressive, and I do remember that how she was able to solo that thing. Keep in mind that thing was able to send her flying a good a good number of feet in the in her first trailer. So that thing packed a lot of power, and for her to take it down like that, so that definitely displays her strength. So um, yep. I actually pulled I actually pulled up here at the dark hour. It says right here, it's a phenomenon that occurs in Persona 3. The dark hour occurs for an hour, as the name implies, mm -hmm. every night at the time anomaly that takes place during 12 a.m. And so there's a 24-hour difference between one day and the next. As the phenomenon takes place, non-Persona users are transmogrified, I don't know how to pronounce that word, into coffins and remember nothing during that dark night. But basically, you know, uh, but basically, this pretty much makes them stronger during this time. They can do a lot more. They're more physical. They're, more, I mean, physically stronger. They're more durable. And I'm gonna guess that a lot of Misudu's feats, without her persona, are enhanced by the are enhanced by the dark hour. Okay. So like so like I just mentioned before, which I'm trying to pull up because my thing is slow. <laughs> as, as like she said, she was able to shatter a shatter a large amount of ice with one thrust of her rapier. She was able to stand up in a gravity wave that cracked the stone pillar before her. That must take a lot of physical strength. Mm -hmm. And like they and like I said before, all these were were potentially if 
are enhanced by the by the power of the dark hour. So mm-hmm. with which I'm pretty sure it's gonna take into effect in order to kind of even out the odds. Yes and no. I mean, potentially. If I, if, potentially. If, I if I can respond here, here's the way I would see it, and this is something I would agree with Death Battle if they say this. I'm not speaking for Ivan. I'm speaking for myself. Okay. To be fair, it happens one hour a day. The chances are, if you run into someone in combat, and I'm not sure how Persona people hunt. Do they, are they a, a, a clan? I, you know, because like when I when I played the games, I don't remember them deliberately planning all their assaults around that time of the night. I could be wrong. It's been a long yeah. time, you know. But my yeah. point is, is if you know. What is that? A one twenty fourth chance that she'll be at the dark hour when she runs into uh, Weiss. Of course, we can eliminate the sleeping time of you know the average human. They're in the same time zone. As long as none of them are vampires, we both could assume they sleep at night, or maybe not. Maybe she hunts at night, right? Like, so how are they going to factor that, or do they just want to say, okay, we're going to take everyone at their strongest, right? So we yeah. have to kind of just let it go and see how they can justify and say it. And I'm okay with either way, but I just want to put my two cents in on it. No, no, no. I completely agree with you. And that's also something I've been kind of been pondering. Like, how are they going to take the dark hour into consideration? Because definitely, it's definitely going to, you know, help her out during the fight against white, because it's going to hurt. It's going to make herself physically stronger. Whether it not makes her persona stronger. I don't know. I'm going to say mm-hmm. it does because yeah. if it makes the, if it makes the persona user stronger, you assume naturally it's gonna make the persona itself stronger. And speaking of the persona, she had she had two personas. Well, a persona that actually transformed to her ultimate, which is um Pentacelia, which transformed to her ultimate persona, Armas Ar, uh, Artemisia. I'm sorry if I'm putting out these wrong, but these are really hard to say. Mm-hmm. And um, her persona is able to utilize uh, ice elemental attacks. So for her magic, she could um you know in case enemies she can create a massive amount of ice. You know, in case she's able to, to encase a shadow in ice, freeze a shadow and sh- freeze a shadow and shatter it, and just you know, pretty much all types of you know ice projectile attacks, anything you can think of, her persona is able to do. Now nice. in terms of her, now in terms of her persona strength, she was able to knock, she was able to knock a shadow into an arch and break it. And keep in mind, she has a whip too. So and wish and that's a lot of power she's you know packing into it. And she mm-hmm. was also able to cut through a chariot shadow attack. And these are pretty much what I see for all the strengths of her persona. And also, we need to consideration that I'm. It's something I do want to bring up first that none death battle. They're probably going to bring some aspects from the game itself, because she actually said that. Um, what I did research, she actually said that her. She was able to actually absorb a little bit of energy, and you know, you know, keep it for herself. From what I from what I was read, she was also able to. She also has a little bit of a healing factor. Her persona can actually heal, um, Masuda herself. Nice. But my thing is, like, um, is that, um, what you want to call it? It's not, like, a permanent type of thing because for Persona users, as the battle goes on, they start to get weaker as well as the person gets weaker because, you know, this is a part of their inner selves. But I think we should, you think I should elaborate more on that a little bit later or just continue <clears throat> with the strength? Yeah, the strength is good because it kind of, though, it pulls us both into the moves and abilities. Mm-hmm. If, if I could throw, do you want me to throw some more strength response yeah, sure. to that? So this is another um, topic, but it kind of goes into the strength. We might eliminate this other topic all. all. Uh, her strength comes from not only her fighting capability that I told you guys, but also her summonings of Weiss. We know that she has Armagaigis, the one we just talked about, the big knight. Uh, yeah. He was able to slice a paladin in half in one shot. So we know that there's definitely a lot of packing going on there with her pets. I call them pets because I came from that <laughs> world of like Warcraft and most importantly uh, EverQuest, you know, or Ultima Online. That's very old school for some of you cats. And she yeah. also has a Queen Bee Lancer, but mostly the armor or Arma Digest. His strike and strength. That's why I kind of added it to it because I noticed you were mentioning, you know, with Persona, what she can do with strengths. So we know, and the the Paladin's armor is definitely pretty damn tough. I mean, I mentioned it before about her taking out one. Yeah, on her own. Okay, yeah, great. But, you know, the armor guy just, you know, which is comparable, you know, to the Paladin. But the Jai just straight up one-shotted the damn thing. You know, she had to pluck away and power poke and 
Duke and you know dupe and you know juke and jive whatever to take it yeah. down. So yeah. when she summons that thing out, it's pretty fair to say that things at least got about if I had to guess about ten times the power or strength of her. I'm I can I can honestly agree with that just because of of course death battle will probably have maybe like a better answer and justification, but from a like a you know just from a stand back view, it's like yeah, this is kind of how I see it. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes perfect sense. And um, since, um, like I said, since, since from what I'm reading, there's not a lot of feats going for her in terms of her persona's feat, in terms of strength. Uh, most of the strength really comes from, from Masuda herself, which I, which once again is, it, which is powered up by the, you know, by the dark hour. And let me just first and foremost say, guys, you know, again, um, I'm not entirely knowledgeable about persona, so if I'm getting anything wrong, please let me know in the comments section down below, because most of what I'm saying is what I'm reading. As also what I'm saying as mere conjecture, so you know, just to let you guys know that. But as, but you know, for the power of the dark hour, you know, as well as you know, her persona self, I think Masuda is pretty strong, and her mm. fencing and her. Well, we can talk about that later. So, in terms of strength, I would say, you know, I would say Weiss definitely has the edge here, at least initially. Okay. What, what I initially think, I think okay. that she she can hit. I think she can hit a little harder. With herself as well as her summonings, and also if I can mention one thing, when it comes to, I think her summonings, it's also gonna kind of help her with the persona itself, you know, because it's gonna be like a two against one at the start of the fight. But I think with her summoning, she could potentially even out the fight in that okay. regard. So I do want to make that little point. So mm -hmm. would you like to go to the speed feet, bro? Yeah, I think it's about time for that, everybody. All right, so you can go first with the speed. Yeah, so one thing about Weiss is her speed is very, um, it's very, you actually can calculate it through a lot of the amazing stuff. And by the way, if you guys haven't seen the show, I hope you guys would have saw it by now. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the most uh, impressive things that I personally saw was her effortlessly blocking, deflecting, dodging bullets. And we know the average bullet speed is somewhere around 2,000 miles per hour or less. But we'll give it like around 17 to 1,800, you know, for benefit of the doubt. So we got bullet speeds traveling at that. She's deflecting them just perfectly uh, confident in her form and bouncing around. Ain't like no thing, right? So it's not <laughs> yeah. like... But the, the most impressive thing was from one of those damn paladins. When they were firing missiles at her in the group, and she was able to dodge those as well. Uh, okay, Anti-vehicle yeah. missiles. Oh, go ahead. Now, I was going to mention, so, like, when she was dodging these bullets, was, was that, you know, with her semblance, or just was without it? Just out of, just out of curiosity. She was bouncing off her semblances, because, remember, she uses them as platforms. Okay. If okay. you notice how she, she kind of, like takes it to the air or wherever she pleases. If you notice, she yeah. kind of uses it like she was not uh, speed uh, speed hacking or whatever, time del dilation, you know, if that's what you're asking. She yeah, was yeah. just in a normal um, feeling the opponent out or just kind of peeling or whatever, grinding, whatever word you, I guess we're going to use for this. It was just yeah. her, ca her casual uh, combat going at it. She wasn't powering up to her uh, highest anything like that. And that's where this, you know, that's why I give it the 1700 miles per hour reaction speed, which is pretty damn impressive in my opinion. And then even when it came down to the anti-vehicle missiles, that's what I'm going to bank them under because these Atlas machines, the Paladins, they were designed not to take out humans. <laughs> they were designed to take out other uh, tanks, you know, and other vehicles, you know. And yeah. of course, this is coming back to our world, so we don't know their speed, but this is the best information that I can pull up. Anti-vehicle missiles are around 4,700 miles per hour that are used, you know, when they're taking out vehicles. That's how fast a damn missile travels. So for her to be able to dodge that, that's pretty damn in impressive. That's extremely fast. I agree. And there's you know, also, I do, yeah, and there's also, I do want to mention in that category, if you did, if for those who didn't watch our first trailer... In the very beginning of the fight, she was literally blitzing through the the, um, the guy gets whatever its name is, mm -hmm. and this was before she was actually using her semblance. So even when she's not using her glyphs, so even when she's not using her glyphs, this really justifies the fact that she is extremely speedy, and with the glyphs, she's even that much faster. So I completely agree. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, okay, so for the speed feats for Masudo, as far as I know, there's only been one. And um, it really says here, well, it, it really says here she was able to react to a shadow an ordinary man had trouble keeping track of. Which mm. I really, I really don't know if this is a, I don't know if this is, I'm going to guess it's fast, but I'm not sure how that would equate to, you know, mm-hmm. travel or reaction or combat speed. So, you know, this is just based on what I'm reading here. And it doesn't really go into really think any further than that. But I'm going to assume that because um, her persona, you know, naturally is a little more superhuman than her. She's probably going to move a lot faster. Mm-hmm. But as far as I can tell, that's just kind of what I'm picking up. But other than that, it doesn't really go to too much. Well, to be fair, a shadow of your image is actually faster than the speed of light. That's true. Like, that's science i like to be fair it's uh like 80 some thousand miles per hour <laughs> like <laughs> it's it, well, you know it's like i shouldn't say it's faster than the speed of light but it's insanely impressive so if she can keep track of a shadow i mean obviously the average human no one can really keep track of your shadow speed but the speed of a shadow is actually actually they do say it's faster than the speed of light. Okay. So yeah. With that being said, I'm gonna say her if it's faster than the speed of light, oh my god. That Ooh. would mean that would mean she would insanely your girl would curb stomp Weiss in terms of speed. Combat yeah. speed. Yeah, but this is reaction speed. Let's keep in mind. I understand. Her reaction was to keep track of the shadow. Isn't that what you just said, though? Yeah. Yeah, she was able to follow a shadow that a human couldn't. Because the average human, we can't track a shadow. Like, the moment we go outside, our shadow's just there. She was able to, like, follow it. At least that's kind of how it was read. Yeah, this is how it's read, but um, as I'm reading here, because I'm actually watching a little bit of a clip of it, it says, a voice echoing in the man's uh, brought him back to reality, blah, 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 blah. It's a long video, but it's just mm-hmm. funny how, how she was able to cut through the shadow. It says, in mere seconds, an entire door was coated in white. Mm-hmm. Well, where is this ice coming from? Just give me mm-hmm. a moment. It is frosted over. The man couldn't believe his eyes, but the evidence was there in front of him. Mm-hmm. He could then hear a slight knocking sound, following a crack forming in the center. This is basically from the game, Persona 3. The door buckled under its own weight and crumbled with the sound that was like a, bu- a building block pushed over. And it doesn't really say more than that. So I don't. if you take that with a grain of salt all you want, but if what Nitch said is true, then yeah, if her reaction speed is going to be quick. If that's the case, this <laughs> maybe we should have covered this durability last because may, I, I'm... At this point, I want to. See, I don't know anything faster than Weiss. I'm sure Death Battle is going to know it because that's their that's that's their girl. It's Rooster Teeth. Yeah, but absolutely. But at also, this point, yeah. I, oof. But but even if that's the case, keep in mind Weiss also has her time dilation, which makes mm-hmm. her much faster. Yes. She also has that, so that may, at the very least, somewhat keep up with her. Yep, I was gonna mention. Yeah, I was gonna mention that here in a little bit. Is yeah, you know the the whole time dilation is is. We have to amp her up times a certain amount from the bullet travel speed or the anti missile speed. It really comes down at this point. I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna put my faith in Rooster Teeth to tell me because the fastest thing I remember when he took on when she took on uh, Jazz Man, the guy that was playing the freaking trumpet, uh-huh. she was speed blitzing through all her pockets. I call them pockets, you know, the teleportation. They're, they're you know they're just her little platforms. I yeah. call them, you know, I'm just using my own lingo, so bear with me, guys, and I apologize. I'm not 100% always awesome on my words. She was yeah. bouncing through them all, so they're going to have to pause it and show, you know, she she went from this one to this pocket and blah, 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 you know? So, like, I really want to see that, but to be fair, I was able to track her even myself, so I know that's nowhere near light speed. Yeah, so, yeah. to be fair, like, I, I if I even I can sense it, and I know... Of course, stuff is slowing down for entertainment purposes, but in that part of the fight, it didn't appear to be slowed down because then it would just show little pops, kind of like when Dragon Ball characters fight, you know? Like, we've never seen any of that yet. So, yeah. with that being said, like, I 
I'm really, I, I really just want to see what they have to say. But based on what you're saying, dude, I'm gonna have to give it to your girl. So the strength I feel goes to Weiss, but the speed, the at least the reaction, the combat speed, goes to uh, Mitsuru. I think yeah, I pronounced yeah. her name right finally. <laughs> Yeah, you did actually did perfectly. Yay! So, yeah. Achievement so, unlocked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> achievement unlocked. Finally said a name right. Woo! So, um, but like I said, when I when I said there's a shadow, because the shadow in the Persona universe, it's kind of I don't know if it's like a shadow in terms of like a person shadow, but like a Persona shadow. So, you know, we're but if this shit is true, then yes. But I want to see what we're gonna see what they have to say because they have may have a different interpretation. So 